Hawaii is facing a critical doctor shortage that's only expected to get worse. And now lawmakers are getting involved in hopes of fixing the problem. Bridget Namata explains. The doctor shortage has been a problem for years. The John A. Byrne School of Medicine says they're not doing enough training or recruiting to fix the problem. And doctors who come from the mainland end up leaving because they can't afford to live here. They're trying to fix it, and now so are lawmakers. Hawaii's population is getting older. We're starting with a shortage, and we're not making up for it. And we have a growing population, an aging population, and so it's just getting worse and worse. The John A. Byrne School of Medicine says the state is short 700 doctors. 282 of those are primary care physicians. These are last year's numbers. We're doing this year's numbers, and they're actually looking a little worse. If you're in Honolulu and you're 18 years old, there's a lot of pediatricians who can't find adult doctors for their kids who age out. So you may be 25 and still seeing your pediatrician. The state is in dire need of specialty doctors like surgeons, orthopedic, infectious disease, critical care, and pulmonary. The shortage is worse on the neighbor islands. If you uh, break your leg in a car accident on the big island, you may have to wait a long time to see an orthopedic surgeon. You may have to be medevaced over here, and you're bleeding the whole time. It could be very, very serious. To fix this, the school is adding more training facilities so medical students aren't just learning on Oahu. Over at the Capitol, Representative Linda Ichiyama is pushing for another way to alleviate the problem. It's certainly a new and different way of looking at it that we haven't looked at before. Ichiyama wants the state's insurance commissioner to regulate requirements for health provider networks. The insurance commissioner would look into wait times for an appointment, the ability of the insurance providers to meet patients' needs, and if there are enough doctors on each island. The resolution passed the House. Now it's up to the Senate to take a look at it. Regina Mata, KHO 2 News.